So now in, uh, let us go and create risk owners. Okay, this is a two-step process that we're going to look look at. One, we create the user IDs in the back GRC system, and then we also need to come to the access control, and then we define those user IDs as risk owners in the access control. So let's go to the GRC system. Okay, and click on go to SC01. So basically the risks that we have created, right? So we only have two types of business areas that we looked at, right? One is finance, so the other is um, basis, okay? So you create a user ID or you, you identify who the risk owners for the basis team is or who the risk owner for uh, finance area is, right? Uh, to those users, you will assign the roles that we're going to look at, okay? So let's go and create a, let's say, BS owner. Let's say, okay, so basis. This corner, okay. Well, we can create. too long okay so that's a BC owner okay basis component owner and we click on this and let's say this owner basis now this is in real system. It, it will be somebody, okay? Yeah, some user. And this not that cannot. This cannot be a generic user. I'm just creating a generic one. the roles so for the key the main roles that you need for a risk owner is going to be uh, this one okay this one and this one along with that you you, you will also need some diff some basic roles that the every every UGRC user would need um, okay so so you need basically these two for risk owners for ARA okay let's set them up okay save it and you can make a copy of this because in this case we can make a copy because we're going to create a owner for fi also right Okay, let's say finance component is going on. Okay, so both of these guys, you know, all the risk owners, like I said, will have, need to have this risk owner role and the risk analysis role, okay? And there are some common roles that the users would need. Click on save. Okay, so after the the risk owner we have created and or assigned the risk and risk owner roles to the user the risk owners now you go to uh, uh, access control again and then in like access control 
in NWBC, you come to setup, okay, and then click on access control owners. So here you basically define who the risk owners are, or you know, there are, let's go and create, okay. So if you look at, these are the different roles that you have, okay, as an access controls, the owners, different types of owners, and who does what, what is that? Okay, so for example, if you have a firefighter ID, when you're, if you're using EM, you'd have to have a firefighter ID owner, as well as the role owner. Okay, similarly, if you're using BRM, every, uh, the role owners will need to be uh, defined here. Okay. If you're a firefighter controller, you need to have the firefighter controller assigned to that person. Okay, so let's click on owner and we are defining our risk owners, right? So let's say BC. There's a basis component risk owner. Let's search for, assign that. And what kind of owner is this person, right? So he's a basis component risk owner. So we'll select risk owner and check this box, owner type. Okay, and if you want to assign, you know, enter a comment for this, right? Basis component risk owner, you can do that. Okay, so then save it. Data is saved and close this. So we have one, create another one. Okay, we have one for finance also, right? So let's click on F5. Okay, so which is ours? So we have this finance F5 owner. That's the one we created. And this person is also a risk owner. So select risk owner. And if you want to add a comment, you can add a comment. on save, save close, okay, so finance area risk owner and business competent risk owner. So you have created the two risk owners, right? We'll come back uh, to the screen again when we do EM and ARM and BRM, okay, because we need to assign owners uh, for those modules also. Okay, so once that is done, right, now you can go and to your risk IDs that you have created, you can select the risk and open. And go to the risk owner because this is a basis related one, click on add. And when you check, whoever is assigned the risk owner, you know, type, owner type in the access control, you get that list here. Okay, so we have the BC owner, who is the role owner, so the risk owner, then you add this. Okay, so with this, your function, the risk ID definition is, will be complete for this risk. Okay, when you close, now, so you see there is a two entries here, right? But this is for different functions. So if you open this, the second one, you'll have the role owner there also. Okay, so you need to pick only one record for each of the risks and then assign the risk owner. So this is basis again. So let's go to risk owner. We look at the rule sets. We have the rule sets. They have the risk owner. and select the risk owner, say okay, save, close. So 
So we did this for other ones and other, we have another one for basis open go to the risk owner add Now we have the two, we have risk IDs for finance. Okay, so let's go and assign this to finance. Risk owner, add the finance owner. Okay, save. Close. Next one. So after this, this risk IDs are created, the next step that you would do is to generate the rules. Okay, save. All right, so we have now created some risk IDs. We created some function IDs, then we created risk IDs and then we assign the uh, rule set that we want this risk IDs to be part of and then we also assigned the risk owners for this uh, risk IDs. So risk owners uh, will are the people who you know who assign or you know decide upon what to do with that when the risks show up in the risk analysis reports okay all right so let's go and now generate the rules <laughs> 